my friend so what do you think is better than Gary V's content model syndication or his content model creation process I don't know if you've seen this before but Gary V Gary Waynerchuk is a social media expert and he's been producing content for all his channels forever and he actually created a post not too long ago on how to create 64 pieces of content every day right and he kind of explains how he does it how his team does it and how you know how you can do it too right but what is even better than that we're going to show you the content model let me just show you a little bit here um if I just uh, whoops I gotta move that over here so the desktop so you know he talks about how to make 64 pieces of content in a day right in one day you can create 64 pieces of content he's got this slide deck over here if I show you this I mean he basically goes and shows you how to do this you know basically showing you how to break it down and he really lays it out for you but what's better than that what is better than his syndication model right what is it that you can do that'll even be better than his process obviously you can follow his process that's awesome you go ahead and follow that process I think it's an awesome process and by the way if you're listening to this in an audio you really want to go check out the blog post at cis252.jsgagnon.com that's cis252.jsgagnon.com uh sorry jsgagnon.com go check that out I'm gonna have a video I'm gonna show you this I'm actually gonna show you what is better than Gary V's content model where you create 64 pieces of content every single day what's better than that we're going to talk about in this in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so what is better first of all let's go through a little bit what he talks about creating content I don't know if there's a let's just look at this here I mean basically he just goes through this he basically explains that you do tweets and then you basically take that tweet and it takes 19 seconds to do and then you get well he's showing his performance right obviously that's not anything like what anybody any else could possibly get but he's getting one piece of content out of there right and totally he has one running tally right so now he talks about having 31 pieces of content let's actually make this I don't know if can I make this I guess I can't let's download this and look at the pdf because it'll be better than uh because I'll actually be able to show you the full screen because I got I don't have my full screen here let's just see it's loading up okay there you go so how to make 64 pieces of content in a day so I mean basically he talks about cross posting to seven to ten platforms that matter the logos change but these doesn't he talks about how he does it you know regularly and let's just go through here and let's just talk about okay so number one tweets he talks about creating a tweet in 19 seconds then he talks about that's one piece of content now he's got one but wait he says Twitter's not the only place your first piece of content can live he says Instagram posts right you can turn this into this by basically doing a screenshot of your tweet and then saving it into a, an, a picture on Instagram right so then he's saying that he gets uh, 30 132k now he's got <laughs> 57 seconds in and he's got one piece of content on Instagram now he's got two total and he's saying it's contextual to the platform so he talks about um how to you can cross post on Twitter versus Instagram right uh he says it's longer copy more content short copy more casual content then there's Instagram with the wording right that he uses but he doesn't necessarily say those kinds of words no f-bombs are no f-bombs on LinkedIn um and he uh he talks about um you know how he you know anyways what he talks about his content because he's got you know potty mouth right but anyways he talks about that then he talks about creating the content for Facebook then creating the content for other platforms he talks about I mean this this deck you can actually get this obviously it's free it's on his website just GaryWaynerCheck.com, and you you just search for it but then he talks about you know uh 
adding his picture to pictures and doing things like that right so I mean there's lots of stuff like that that you need time to do it takes a little bit of time and but you know he talks about that's you know now that's two pieces of content and in total he's got four so now what about carousel and he talks about a pdf and 48 of your best posts and then put them in a slat slide deck you can do a carousel on Instagram uh put them all together right one after the other right so people swipe back right then he talks about uh on LinkedIn creating an upload of a file he talks about doing a uh, what else carousel and slide decks he talks about you know uh platforms LinkedIn that's two that's six total right here now he's in the notes and apps uh taking notes um your thoughts here writing it down draw them then you post that he talks about I mean that there's a so much stuff there's this is 200 211 slide uh, pages I think uh smartphone camera taking pictures videos with your camera talks about uh, recording a 60 second video sharing an instant a feeling or recapping your day uh you know post it <laughs> very important post it after you record it right so on your camera you're going to get lots of views because people like to see you right they want to know who you are now he's at five, five pieces of content there total of 14 now right as we go live streaming right doing live streams uh with with people with guests and all this stuff right obviously um Instagram and Twitter you can post it to all the different places there's different live you know there's a live on Instagram right there's also a live on Twitter and there's a, obviously a live on Facebook it's just live on you on YouTube all these you can do that's 19 total now cartoons and drawings he says take cartoons you're if you're more artistic you could do that right obviously um what else um pen and paper performance four pieces the subtitle copy subtle subtle differences on LinkedIn and Facebook these are contextual to the platform which help you res, with results right so uh he's just saying just make things a little different from one to the other right uh based on the platform right so now he's at you know for example this drawing I made on the whiteboard and say 17 seconds right and he took a picture of it and he posted a tweet then he changed the quote and posted another tweet oh look at that <laughs> that's funny so he's got two different ones and he posted it on snapchat uh did a quick instagram live so that's five pieces of content from a seven, 17 second drawing uh now back to the deck he's saying now it takes to make 17 seconds so 23 pieces of content right number one video slideshows now all this takes time right it takes time to do all these things and it's really obviously if you could do this this would be awesome but like I said what is better than this we're going to get into that in a second but what's better than doing this right it's still amazing you can certainly do that and I'm not saying better necessarily quality wise better I'm just saying there's there anyways you'll see in a sec in a moment when I explain to you what I'm talking about but I mean he's posting look at that he's at 27 pieces of content now pictures taking pictures uh putting your out content about yourself right your hobbies your interests what is it that you like right so he takes pictures of himself all over uh where he goes um funny moments or inside jokes uh you know if you don't you know I have no clue what he's talking about I guess he's got five there and five there but I'm not sure what that's about older pictures 2007 right um pictures with partners uh then he talks about that's four pieces of content there right and I'll tell you I'll tell you what what I'm talking about in a minute just keep keep listening keep watching we're going to get into that exactly what I'm trying to get to but he's talking about fearing you know stop fearing the algorithm now he's got 31 pieces of content video micro content so basically you can layer on titles and captions your videos to make it easier for people to consume so putting text on top of uh, videos right uh profiles that make the most consumer centric content win so he talks about and then there's Pinterest uh this is a Pinterest thing I think right isn't it um I'm not sure but it looks like Pinterest he the, I actually he hasn't talked about Pinterest in this uh, slide deck right but Pinterest is definitely another place where you should be posting in in the end it's at content 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 now we're at uh, 35 pieces of content uh, let's keep going I'm just going to go scroll nice and quick here through here so I mean what is it that he you know 
you can also make your copy contextual by referencing the date you're posting on the location and more right I mean all these things they all add up right 38 quote graphics um images you know there's all these different things you can do that's for what 42 stories of course posting stories is important to do too you got to be posting stories there's Instagram now there's LinkedIn stories right so he's got three now there's actually four now because there's LinkedIn stories um that's 45 pieces of content community centric um I mean it's insane look at that look at all this stuff you can do with all these pieces of content with how you can generate content from here to here to here copy it do things you know like <laughs> it's insane right and it's super cool to be able to see this slide deck right if I'm not almost at the end podcast oh yes podcast take your video and convert them to podcast or record spe specific podcasts right <laughs> now you're at and there's a whole bunch of different places where you can post your podcasts uh okay so you know like this uh apple podcast stitcher soundcloud youtube linkedin your website that's six pieces of content even more right that's in one hour get recording 57 pieces of content polls i've never used polls but that's another thing you can do there's lots of polls you can do on different uh, the different platforms you can ask questions we're at 60 pieces now uh, what's the last one TikTok clips <laughs> TikTok. I'm on TikTok. I am on TikTok. you should be posting on TikTok too you can take your videos share them to TikTok. and now we're at 250 64 pieces of content right there it takes to 50 he says 52 minutes to create all this I'm not sure if that's true but maybe over time you can get to there so now we're at what I was talking what is better than doing all this well I think what's better and that like I said it's not I'm not saying it's better from a better from a quality perspective better from a you know uh not necessarily not necessarily um better from 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 you know quality wise one of the things that Gary V talks about he talks about putting content out there putting quantity out there he's he's saying you got to put more content out there that's why he's kind of helped he's talking about this and the reason why that's important is because the more content you put out the more you're going to get seen by people and eventually people are going to start to know you right and that's how that's what you want when you're trying to do personal brand you're trying to get people to know you to like you to to, to understand to to learn about you to figure out you know who you are what you're about and you do this and the more content you put out the better in terms of getting people to know you right getting people to connect with you getting people to understand who you are right but the quality won't be there when you start out and it doesn't matter that the quality is not there because the quality will come as you get better and better at doing things now what I'm saying is better than this is when this is automated right how would you like to be able to create maybe not all this right some lots of it a lot of it in automation so basically what you do is you create your video content and then you create some text and then you click a button and it'll generate all the you know a whole bunch of assets like screenshots of your video uh, podcast ready uh, thumbnails uh, text for the different platforms the videos the shorter videos for the platforms that don't allow long videos all that gets all generated for you automatically so that's that's what I'm saying is better right better than I'm not saying it's uh, you know maybe I rephrase that it's better when you're too busy to do all this because it does take a lot of time or it does take a team to do all this what if you don't have a team what if you don't have the money to to create all these pieces of asset all the time you need automation right automation is my middle name right I mean I've been building uh, things on automation for I don't know how long forever right and that's the thing is that with automation you can do a lot more you can like you know you can like say for example let me just I don't know if this is uh working I'm I'm, I'm still working on it on it I don't know if I should show you should I show you do you want to see do you want to see this and by the way again if you're listening to the audio you really got to go check out the the video because I'm going to show you this I, I actually am I'm going to show you so go to cis25 
two I believe 252 is it I, I keep forgetting it's 252 it is cis 252.jsgagnon.com and we're going to do the video you can go to the video at 15 minutes in and we're going to have the you're going to be able to see what I'm talking about right now <laughs> in the audio okay so let's just uh, let's just see what happens there's bugs in this still it's still in development but let's just go first of all you're going to want to um, register an account at clickecourse.com all right so clickecourse.com you're going to want to go to there uh, let's put the link on here uh, you're going to want to go to clickecourse.com and register an account and <coughs> when you register your account you get free access to the syndication engine and the syndication engine kind of looks like this is like I said it's it's a work in progress so basically what you want to do in the syndication engine is you want to create the first thing you're going to have to do when you first create your account is you're going to have to create a series uh, a series is kind of like an um a show right so you might have like me I have the real talk show I have I have the course income secrets show which you're, you're on right now I have the simple online strategy show that I did in the past I have the course talk show I did and you know those are those are shows so you define the show so that you can organize all the episodes using the same uh, assets so let's just I think we have the show yeah let's create a uh, real talk well actually is it real talk well hold on what did I have here whoops oh I just created a show real talk create new series I'm going to call it uh, course talk right so I call it course talk and then within this series I can define any assets I want I can create output text I can create an output audio I can output videos like for example a five minute or a ten minute or two minute video I can create image outputs like a thumbnail for 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 a gif or for a podcast or the video thumbnail um, and I can also insert backgrounds and things like that on images right so I can have for example an image with a, a, a little play uh, icon on top of the image right to show that this is you know click on this to play the video for example right where you would have the little video play thing on top of the image right or I can have the podcast like me I have the podcast image which is a square from my video thumbnail that I insert right in the middle of it and on the top it says you know course income secrets podcast and then it says episode number whatever on the side so you can do all those things with this and the thing with that is that you choose uh what you want to generate every time you create a, an, an episode every single episode that you create you can have it generate all the same assets I mean they're going to be different because the video is different but they're going to have the same look and feel the same brand you know your logo on the same things everything's going to look the same uh, from a from a from a, a branding perspective so you'll have the same things every time so you can have for example you can generate the image for Instagram and you can generate the image for Facebook and LinkedIn you can have all different images if you want for all these different platforms and the thing is that you you don't have to do that every single time you just set up your series to have the right assets and then you just you know uh you just click the button so right now we're just going to say done and then <laughs> I'm just going to go and create a syndication for this and I'm going to um so in here I can choose to upload or I can choose to enter a video file actually I'm not going to go through this whole thing I'm actually doing a free webinar on Tuesday and you can register at twohourworkday.com because the reason why I call it the two hour workday let's see do I have the link here two hour work that I do so if, let's just get the click eCourse link out of there so you're going to want to go and register here let's just make this uh, I'm going to edit this and make this a different I, I want it to be more my background is going to be let's make this uh, I'm not sure yellow I don't know 
so a two hour workday right you go to twohourworkday.com and you can register for the webinar like you know if you go there they'll basically take you to this two hour work it'll basically take you to the registration which is basically how to be omnipresent in today's digital world with a two-hour workday I talk about it as a two-hour workday because if you do this every single day and you're recording a say a 30-minute video and you're maybe you're maybe creating a pot uh, and a blog post that takes you about 30 minutes well you can generate all the assets in well it doesn't take any time of your time you go and click the button and then you have to wait for it to generate which takes about you know half an hour an hour depending on your but you can create the asset click the button and then go do something else and then later on in the day when it's all ready you can actually go and share those assets everywhere so we're gonna t I'm actually going to show you how to do all this how to like right now I'm kind of showing you what this is if I go back to say for example here and I go to this in the list here this is this is one that oh I guess I don't have do I have one that's done no I don't I I um, I'm like I said I'm in the middle of doing this and lets me see maybe this one here yeah so this is kind of what it looks like when it's when it's done right when it's done whoops that's not what I want well anyways we'll just put that right here so when it's done whoops what's it doing why is it doing that I don't want you to do that just go right here okay so once it's done uh you get all this series of assets right you can actually download the zip file that contains everything in it um I'm just gonna I don't know if I yeah let's put it in here uh save it so once you've created all your assets you can look at them right I can look at the text that's generated from it I can I can copy it um I can I can look at the images if I want to see the images like save my podcast image right here this is the image I have right here for the podcast I mean that's not <clears throat> that's because I didn't um, set up but I mean you can do where you have a, a an image on top or a, a, a the title or something like that uh you can have so it, it generated like a five minute video and a two minute video right um and then you can do other things I mean I I create another one which is an mp3 uh, audio here that's that was uh 10 minutes right but the thing is that once the files are downloaded right you have them all locally as well let's just put that over here uh is that I'm not sure this is on my Linux yeah there you go so I mean look these are all there right all the files are in here Oops. and there's 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 the text files there all the other files are in there the the the, the way well, you know, the audios and the zips and everything else so that's all there and that's kind of how that works so then you can use that and you can go to you know LinkedIn and share you're going to go to to your Facebook and share you can go to your Instagram and share you can go to your all this with these assets all generated for you automatically right so that's what is better than Gary V's content model I mean his content model is amazing obviously and it's awesome to learn all this and he's right about you know making it even more uh precise you know making it more specific all that is important to do but you know until you get there until you have the time until you're generating the income how do you do this all the time if you want to do this every single day it's really insane to be able to do this every single day on your own what if you could using a syndication process like this right syndication process like I said on click ecourse but you should go to two hour workday so t so that's the number two then hr for hour two hour right and then work day so wrkday.com go there and register for the free webinar we're going to be doing that I'm going to be showing you even more about how all this works how to choose your how to add inputs how to how to generate special special things you can do like lots with this you can add a whole bunch of assets you can have all all the different assets we're going to actually have live participants on there you're going to be able to ask questions if you want to know a specific thing you want to be there live all right so that's going to be on Tuesday and the time I don't know what time zone you're in but just go to that link to hourworkday.com go check out 
when it is for in your time zone there's a if I go to there you can actually go and you click on that let's move that out of the way whoops Wrong button. so let's just move me out of the way here so whenever you're on this on this page right to ourworkday.com you're going to see there's a register button so if you go with your phone it's going to look at, you know obviously it's smaller and the register is there but it shows you that it's in 10 hours if I click on the register you see this pop up right here let me just move this out of the way again and then over here you just put uh the, it shows you the time right now right but I mean if you click on this you can change the time zone right I don't know why there's not any more oh these time zones are going to be based on you know where where you are and that kind of stuff um convert to other time zones just uh, select the time zone right here I want to say I don't know I want to know what time is it going to be in uh you know in, in Perth it's going to be at 7 a.m on October 28th in Perth right so that's the thing you can just click on the convert to other time zones and then you can just choose your time zone I'm in central time what time's that that's at 6 p.m uh or you um you know whatever time zone you're in right just go ahead and enter whatever time zone you're in in Rio de Janeiro whatever it's that's and then you just put your name and email address and you click the register button and you're going to be registered to attend this so you can learn what is better than creating content according to the Gary Vee model when you can do it on automation when you can just record one piece of content so you get the audio output from that so you can share it to a podcast so you can share it to SoundCloud to iTunes to Stitcher to I I heard radio I mean I do all that I share all those places I sh probably should show you I know I will show you that a little bit on my on the webinar but that's what you want to be doing you want to be posting everywhere you want to be posting content every day and you can't do that without some automation right you gotta have automation and the most automation you get the more the more you can do it regularly and you can do it the you know so that everything is easy and simple and it's not you know it's not perfect it'll never be perfect but it's a lot easier and a lot simpler than if you had to do it all yourself all right so I hope you enjoyed this and well I hope to see you on the webinar you have yourself a great day and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.